Hey guys, make sure you watch this episode to the end. I actually set up a massive quarry that spawns, uh, spans 16 chunks, automated refiner, and an automated EMC generator here. So I know that it's not the most interesting episode, but there is a really big build that goes into it by the end. All the parts slowly start adding themselves up, along with automated coal generation. Not just um, output and like keeping these full, it actually generates its own coal from sunlight. And I'm telling you this now because I actually did have a headache, so I didn't talk the most compared to other episodes, so hopefully this keeps you interested. Anyway, enjoy. Welcome audience type people, most of that ore from episode I think 3 or so has finally been smelted. Got a whole heap of copper cable now, let's see, a whole heap of electronic circuits. As you can see I've cleaned up the mess, I've increased the output over here because things are actually starting to fill up. As in, it was smelting so quickly that these parts are actually getting filled and not emptied fast enough. Especially with things like the extractor because it made 3 rubber out of 1 resin. This is just making some refined iron at the moment. As you can see, I don't need that circuit anymore because it actually smelts fast enough that every time one's in, one's out by the time it's done. So let's see, I'm just going to head over to here. This dust, all it's doing at the moment is coal dust. Oh, it's actually done that now. It's got plenty of that. So the smelter, I'll just show you all the boxes of stuff we've got. I got rid of a lot of the copper because I turned that into cables. But there was tons of it, there still is. Got plenty of tin, plenty of iron, a lot of refined iron, silver. Going to smelt all this down, of course. Oh, also, I should show you this. I did fix the um, coal thing. The, yeah, whatever you call it. So now whenever it does overflow, because it still does do that, no matter what I do, it's going to do that. Unless I slowed down the redstone engine by turning it on and off. But anyway. Now whenever it does fill up, why is there... Oh, there you go. Shoots across because I've powered this by a steam engine which is also getting filled up with coal from the same actual system. This should never run out, well not never, once this empties, but this is going to take quite some time. One thing I actually found out that I didn't know about is that none of these advanced machines is this an advanced machine? Yes it is. They can't actually be upgraded. Which is a little bit annoying because the original uh, electric furnace with enough overclocker upgrades is actually faster than the induction furnace because uh, the maximum speed is actually one ore per tick, which is crazy. But anyway, I'm probably going to build a normal furnace later and upgrade it, but that's going to take quite some time because I'm going to need a lot of upgrades and all that kind of stuff. What I do want to do today is increase my power output. So I'm going to build some solar arrays and also do some industrial craft. Ah, no, that's the same thing. Um, Equivalent exchange, as always, because it's always generating EMC and such, so I'm probably always going to do that in every episode now, really. This is probably actually full. Yep. I can make plenty of stuff with that. Not really sure what I'm going to make. Haven't really decided. Okay, now I have. What I want to make is an alchemical bag, because my inventory is always full, and it would be nice to hold something that's pretty much a massive chest in my inventory, which could be pretty awesome. What I'm going to need to make is an alchemical chest, just straight off, because that's one of the first steps. Alchemical chest. Here it is. So let's see. Stone, diamond, covalence dust, iron ingots, and chest. Shouldn't be hard. Let's see. Well, I've already got the stone here. I've already got the iron ingots. Got the chest. And the covalence dust. Don't even have to craft any of it so far. Oops, I don't want 40. just want one. Was there anything else that I've forgotten about? One diamond. Okay. Well, I've got that too. So I'm just going to craft that, then I'll teach it to the tablet. Let's see, I'll just overlay you here. Green. Oh, green. Light blue. Dark blue. Stone. The iron. And then the chest. Here we go. Alchemical chest. What just happened? Okay. Wait, I've still got cheat mode up. I left that open for in the last um, two episodes, so I might as well turn that off now so you know I'm not going to do anything sneaky. So anyway, here's an alchemical chest. It is massive. It's way larger than actually a double chest is. So I'm just going to show you that. And it can actually go right next to each other. There's no limitation like that. Large chest, this big, gives you six rows by your inventory length. This gives you... <laughs> 
uh, eight rows, and it's actually larger than your inventory. And it only takes up one block. I'm just going to take that back. Because I want to make an alchemy bag. So here we go. I just need some wool and some high covalence dust. Ah, so you can also colour the bags. Fair enough. Now, unfortunately, I have no wool in this entire house, so I can't even teach it to my alchemy tablet. If I could, I could make all the wool I need. Unfortunately, means I'm going to have to go find a sheep. Well, I'll bring some bread along with me and a sword. I'm just going to kill one, because I don't actually need to bring it back or get heaps of wool for it. I can always make some more. Oh, I haven't been outside the house in... Ah, oh, forever. Really. Crazy. Not in Minecraft, either. That was a terrible joke. I feel bad. Anyway, I'm gonna find that sheep. Aha! Finally! Okay. Hopefully if I kill... Whoa, Ravine. Okay, I'm just gonna kill you. Couldn't be bothered making any shears, I'm sorry. Okay, I got some wool. That'll do. I only need one. Gonna head back. Ah, oh, where would I be without equivalent exchange? Wait, I already taught it? Well, well, that was a waste of time. Anyway, I can at least target wool now and use the Klein Star and such. 200,000. Ah, okay, I'm just gonna grab, say, five, six. Yeah, six will do. And I'll just keep some wool in that chest here, so if I ever need some more, I can just target it. Now, I'll just craft that alchemy bag. I think I have everything I need. Nope, covalence dust. Okay, dark blue. Let's see, one, two, three. Okay. Now, once again, I'll bring this up, because I'm incredibly forgetful. Wall on the bottom. Now I have myself an alchemy bag. This thing is awesome. In essence, it's really just a portable uh, alchemical chest, because you just keep it in your hotbar, you right click, and you've got your entire chest inventory. So if I put some marble in, leave it there, I can walk around with it, go somewhere else, open it back up, and put it back into my inventory. Ah, uh, it's great. Now I cheated in an orange alchemy bag just to show you something. So what I've done is I've put the white alchemy bag in <laughs> this one. So you can pretty much get an infinite storage of inventory. So I'm just going to take the white bag out, open the white bag, and there's the marble. So you can just have inventories and inventories and never run out of space. Now I'm just going to delete that orange one. Turn off cheat mode. Recipe. There we go. Alright, so I've got myself an alchemy bag, so I shouldn't have any more problems with inventory. One strange thing is that you actually can't teach the transmutation tablet the alchemy bag, so you, also, you always have to make chests and then upgrade them with wool and stuff. So it's rather strange, but it will do. Alright, so I might as well tell you what I'm planning. What I'm going to make is a condenser, which automatically turns, say, coal... Sorry about that. Automatically turns, say, coal or cobblestone into diamonds or whatever you want it to. You can set it to turn it into bread if you feel like it, and it could turn one diamond into a whole heap of bread just by piping it into the box. This takes about four diamonds, I also need some more alchemical chests, and what I'm going to do is set up that massive quarry that I talked about quite a few episodes back. Although I said that it would mine out an entire chunk, I actually plan it to mine out 16 chunks. So I, was, I, wasn't, um, I didn't understand how big a chunk actually was, it's 16 by 16, I thought it was 64 by 64. So anyway, I'm going to build a quarry as big as possible, which is 64 by 64, and just pipe all the blocks that get mined into this condenser, which will turn everything into diamonds. What it won't turn is things like iron ore. You actually have to smelt it down into iron and then pipe it in, which I can do now. Alright, so first off, I need some more... Ah, uh, damn it, it's not here. I was looking for an alchemical chest. I probably should have kept one. Well, anyway, I can just target some diamond instead. Make some of these, because I will need some. Going to need... Why didn't you stay? Four? No, I believe I'm going to need six more. So I'll make a couple more just in case. Okay. In fact, a couple more, because there was some extra energy in the collector, which I could suck out with my client though. Let's see. That's better. Wow, I've actually left this relay for quite some time. It's actually... Still has enough to put in... Uh, still not... Ah, damn it. Still had enough energy to fill up the client star and still have some left over. There we go. Did it in one sentence. Okay. So, I'm going to have to make another alchemical chest so I can start targeting them. Now, there's only two more iron in the box. So I want to make a few more of these so I don't run out. Thinking I'll just 
make one actually. <laughs> now I'll get to crafting, make another one. So, chest on the bottom, iron on the sides, not wool, huh, stone. Okay, convalence dust, and something's wrong. Ah, oh, the diamond, of course. Okay, alchemical chest. Now I'm going to keep this one, so I can always have one in the chest, so I can make them whenever I need it. And I'll just target this here and make a new one. Or not. What's going on? Right, it wasn't learned. My bad. Okay, so I'll just make, say, three more? Where are you? I'll take one of them. Now I want to make a condenser. It's rather simple to make, I just need a few more obsidian before I can go ahead and craft it. Whoops, no, target the obsidian, use it on the outside. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to go make it. Put one alchemical chest in the middle. Obsidian around the outside in the corners. And then four diamonds. Okay, energy condenser. Now you can also power them passively, like how the... What do you call them? Collectors here create fuel. Well, if you put, say, instead of a relay in here, you put a condenser. The condenser is going to take energy from all the collectors, and instead of making fuel, it'll actually make matter. And seeing as I don't really need anything right now, I'm just going to make a second Kleinstar Zli. Anyway, I'm just going to make one of them. That'll actually do for now. Head on back over. I plan to combine these later, once I actually have four of them. So now this is just going to have to do. I'll just put you in the chest. Now, another thing I'm going to need is a diamond pipe. Diamond pipes can actually sort items. So, some of the items are going to go into a smelter, like all the ores that have to. And the rest are just going to go straight into the condenser. Why did I go upstairs? That was random. Anyway. <laughs> diamond pipe. I want diamond pickaxe, I want... There it is. Diamond transport pipe. So in order to make this, glass in the middle, two diamonds. Should have glass in the chest up here somewhere. Okay. There we go. Eight diamond transport pipes. Now, head back downstairs. Okay, welcome back viewers. I'm welcoming you because this is actually a huge jump ahead. I've taken apart the furnace, the macerator. My inventory is now full of crafted things that I'm going to need to help to be able to finish this pretty huge build actually. So, actually I'm missing one thing. All I need to make now is some landmarks. Okay, sorry about that. Now I actually have everything. I think. Probably. Anyway, what I'm going to do first is just get some generators up here. I think I brought four. Yep, there we go. Just switch these around, put the four generators in. Also mine out the bottom because I want these to automatically get coal, just like over um, in the other room upstairs. Now, now, not only do I want it to automatically give coal, I also want it to automatically make it. So it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to use a condenser. Wait, I just need my diamond pick. There we are. Let's dig out this wall behind here so I can actually have the ores moving around. There we go. I also, I need more than one jack-o'-lantern. I took it off the wall there. Uh, let's see. Let's take something out that I can convert. Emerald, that'll do. Wait, no, it's the last one. Ah, frustrating. Okay. Where's my client, sir? I'll take that. Now, client star goes into here. Make me some jacko. Oh, there's one in there. Okay, make us some jack-o'-lanterns. Way more than enough. Uh, I just head back. Now, here's the alchemical chest, as you'd probably expect. Let's put one wooden pipe here. Now some cobblestone to actually transport the coal into. Now, I just have it circle back like so. Full circle, back into the box. Now, what I also want is to have that obsidian, trans obsidian transport pipe to make sure that everything can also get picked up when it actually spills and such. So to do that, I just want some cobblestone coming out of this box. Let's see, I'll just go out a little bit more this way. 
Hmm. Don't want it to connect straight to it. I'm going to move it out a little bit more. I shall put it about here. This should get every... nope. This should get about everything. Yep, that will work. I also need to power this with a steam engine. Which will go here. Why are you connected like that? It's a little bit strange. Now, if this doesn't work perfectly, I can always fiddle around with it until it works. It should, but I might be just off a little bit. Like, it might not pick up the coal from this one, it might not pick up the one from the last one. But now I want to show you how I'm going to make automatic coal. So let's see. I'm just going to put down a condenser, say, two blocks away over in this corner. Ah, uh, yep, two blocks away. Just want to mine out this a bit more, because I need some space here. Now, I'm just going to open my alchemy bag, which has a whole heap of coal in it. Okay, just to check if everything's working. I also need a redstone engine. Just put this down here. Now I just need to power the thing. I need to get a lever over there. Ah, damn it, that roof is so small. Okay, let's put this. So what I'll do is just reach over here. There we go. Now this should turn on. I'll just put some coal in here to see if everything's going smoothly. Also, I'll keep one thing of coal just to put a little bit here. Also, I believe I need to power this. There we go. Put the rest of the coal in. Actually, I need a little bit here. Okay. Now this condenser. It doesn't do anything unless you're feeding items into it. Or, put a collector next to it. Now I'll just put the pumpkins on top. Jack-o'-lanterns, I mean. Whoops, I missed. Ah, come back. I'll take that. Ah, uh, well, it's stuck there. That'll be fine. Put you there. Put you there. Now these should generate quite quickly. As you can see, it's not actually getting into any power until you target something. Now it's automatically generating power from the collectors. These have stopped actually increasing because they're giving it all to the box. Now this, over time, is going to create some coal. Let's just see. Just make sure it's working. There we go. It's definitely creating coal. Now I'll just use the wooden pipe here, one more piece of cobblestone, and I'll power this with a redstone engine. Like so. Now this should pipe the coal out of the collector, a condenser, into the alchemical chest. I should have an infinite supply of coal. Although it is a bit slow, if I want to make it more efficient, I'll have to put more collectors on top and on that side, possibly even underneath. But for now it will do. Now I'm going to use these generators to power an MFE, once I get some cable out of these. Now i just push this out a little bit. I've got the space in this room to really actually space things out properly. There we go, now I'm just going to put down an MFE. I want to switch it side, so I'll grab the wrench. Actually no, that's the right side, never mind. Now I've got my transformer here to lower its voltage. There it is. Now this I have to switch around. There we go. Now that should be working. Now. Now I'm going to skip ahead and set up the quarry now. I don't mean actually skip the video. I'm just going to set it up. And then later on I'm going to set up that macerator and furnace. I just want to know exactly where everything is first. I probably shouldn't have left these doors open. Okay, now, my quarry is here. Okay. So I'll just stick down the quarry there. Actually, well, I'll plan to. I don't actually want to put this down just yet, because this goes down last. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more. There we go, perfect. I'll just use some dirt. Just need to extend this a little bit. One more will do it. Okay, now I need landmarks. And I need to count this pretty carefully, because I want this to be exactly 64 by 64. This is going to be difficult. Okay. Well, what I figured would do is probably do maybe the smartest thing, and use exact blocks of 63 cobble. So I can go, there's already one block here, so I'll just walk along, two, three, four. 
and continue onward until the entire stack is used up. There we are, exactly 64 blocks. I should mention that using lots of smaller quarries is actually much more effective than using one giant one. Because, well, yeah, it only mines at one speed, regardless of how big it is. This is just really the lazy, stray mav way of doing things. But anyway, I'll get back to you once this side's done. Finally done, this was a little bit more difficult, seeing as I actually had to start digging into the sand, but anyway. Now I should be able to activate them with a redstone torch. There we go. I'll just slowly run back. Should be getting night time soon, I'm getting a little bit worried. Actually, I can't see the sun or the moon. It's a little bit strange. Oh wait, it must be just going down over there. Okay. Activate this one. Whoops, no, let me back, ah, damn it. Now I just activate this last one here. Doesn't really make a square. You can do it with three, right? You don't need four. I'm just going to go check quickly to see if it actually did line up. Okay, I see a fourth blue line, it's all good. Okay, I'm not feeling really safe outside there with anything able to kill me, so I'm just going to head back, sleep for the night. Finish the build tomorrow. Okay, it's early morning, maybe afternoon. Time to see if this is actually going to succeed or not. It didn't extend outwards. How did I do this last time? Did I use a lever or something? Somebody help me out. Nope. Ah, uh, damn it. I can't remember. I'm going to check. Oh, of course, I forgot to right-click on one of these um, landmarks. Now I just want to... So hard to select sometimes. Oh, uh, saw it come up. There we go. Um, maybe that one was too far away. These two are connected. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, I see. You have to right-click the one that's connected to all three. Hopefully I can still put down the quarry on this side, though. Aha! It worked. Wow, this is going to take ages. Still, it's definitely going to give me all the ore I need for anything ever. Anyway, I'm going to use some steam engines out here. Uh, I want you to space upwards. Did I bring my spanner? Uh, wrench? Damn it, I forgot. Uh, maybe if I get rid of you and then put the pipes first, it won't have a problem. Okay, I need some conductive pipes. Wooden ones first and then golden. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Six of them. Put the golden ones on top. Here we go. Of course you don't have to do this, it's just what I like to do. There we go. Now that steam power. Ah, it still doesn't want to work. Ah, damn it. I'll bring back a wrench sometime and fix this. For now, I'll be happy. Okay. Now all I need is a little bit of coal. And of course a whole heap of redstone torches to actually turn these things on. So I'll put down those levers now. I'm also going to have to build a automated coal thing for this later on. Levers, here we are. Oh, these are going to get destroyed. Not very helpful. Here we are. Lever, lever. This might be a little bit of a problem. Okay, let's see. Should be some way to do this. Just missing out on one. That will do, I just put the lever underneath. Should still not work at all. Damn it. <laughs> I just, I can't reach it. That's the only problem. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go. Okay, also need to supply these things with coal, I'm not going to turn them on just yet because it's just going to spray your sand everywhere. Now that that's taken care of, it's time to set up the transport pipes. I'm just going to put this along my pathway. Shouldn't have any trouble traversing it later on, hopefully. Let's see, it's going to be a little bit of a pain. 
I don't actually need a wooden one first off because quarries actually eject their items into pipes, so it already powers it in a way. Oh, I need some more. Let's see. Should hopefully be nearly done. Ah, damn it. Come on, here we go. Whoa! Forgot how long I made this. Okay. God, ah, oh, damn it. Two pipes for every. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, just. Just. Ah. Uh. Okay. Finally. So, this is where items are going to come out. Now I need that diamond pipe to start splitting things. Okay. So now, I want stuff to come out this way. Now I'm going to use some iron pipes. So I can make sure they don't cross over. Well, of course I could just do it properly instead. Okay. So this green side is just going to pull everything out apart from what's going to come out blue, which will be the ores and such, that are going to get macerated. And these ones are just going to get straight into a condenser. So I'll stick a condenser down here. There we are. Just want to grab a diamond. Ah, oh, damn, I only have one. I'll grab one later. Actually, no, I'm not going to lose it. It's fine going to be targeting diamond. Oh, did you look at that? It's working perfectly. That's great. Okay, that's a relief to actually know that that's... okay. Just gonna check on this condenser. It might not be making enough. Doesn't look like it. I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade that. Okay, so first off I'm gonna have the ores and such come down here straight into the macerator. Like so. Why are you making noise already? rather strange. Okay, now I also want this to have a redstone lever here, because this has to be at full power as soon as that quarry starts operating. This is going to start speeding up. Now I'm going to have it come straight out of the macerator, wasting no time. Going to put it straight into a furnace. Like... Hmm. I'll put it here, just looks better to me. Even though things are still like pretty much a complete mess. Still, it's alright. Although, if I put things in the side like this, it might not work. So just in case, I'll make sure they go on the top. Alright. And I'll do the same thing here. Make sure they go onto the top. Now I need a redstone lever here. Turn you on. Copper wire. Insulated, of course. Uh, yep, that'll do. Uh, yep. Decisions, decisions. Got a little bit more efficiency, maybe. Now, this is going to start heating up. 2%. This is now speeding up. Then everything that comes out of the furnace... Really got to replace these lights sometime is then going to get piped straight into here. So everything's going to be going into this collector and it's going to all get converted into diamonds. So everything's nearly done now. Just taking out my climb star so I can make a few more collectors so this coal thing might actually be able to keep up. Here we are, take out that. Climb star. Now, energy collector. Going to need... Ah, that's all I can make, that's a shame. Well, once I have some diamonds, this won't be a problem. Now I just put one collector over here, if I can just reach properly. Ah, damn it. Just can't... There we go. Put a pumpkin on top as usual. Get rid of that so I can actually see what I'm doing. Wait, another collector. Another pumpkin. Can I still see? Okay, so now it's going twice as fast. That should help out a little bit. I'll also just open up my alchemy bag, because that's still got some extra coal in it. There we go. This still actually isn't enough. I'm probably going to need Mark II, maybe even Mark III collectors, to actually make coal 
at the same rate it's actually asking for it. This pretty much shows me how much coal I need to be making. I need to be making this much. And it's not really doing that at the moment. So anyway, these are nearly... Oops, that's completely full. This is nearly heated up and spinning at the right speed. I'm going to head out to that quarry now. Okay, it is night time, so I'm a little bit worried, but still I'm just going to quickly turn everything on. Just see everything. There we go. This one, this one, this one. Are you started? No. I should get that wrench and turn them the right way. This is probably going to explode. I'm just going to run back and do that. Hopefully it doesn't explode while I'm gone. Okay, come on. Didn't take that long. There we go. Yep, everything should be fine. Okay, now hopefully this does work. Should position... There we go. Yes! Oh, no, don't go up. No, upwards. There we are. Whoa! Should have expected that. Aha! Okay, now they're all going upwards and they're shooting across. Is it starting to build? It is. Wait, is it? Can't tell yet. Ah, crap, I already see a spider. Is that an ender? Yep, don't look at it. Stray mouth, just look the other way. Really can't even tell if this is building yet. Oh, I didn't even know if it's turned on. Just in case, you know. Um... Hmm. Okay, worst case, it all explodes. Uh, it's kind of a big deal, isn't it? Ah, uh, still it's night time, I can't risk this. Once these heat up, it'll be fine. I'd rather be safe right now. Okay, this is great. There's not so great being a creeper over there. But I can see the builder block over there just destroying all the stand sand dunes to make space for all this. I don't think it's actually... yeah, it's not picking up the sand dunes until it actually starts drilling. But that means it is doing something. So, I'm happy about that. Whoa! Okay, I'm definitely getting inside. Nope. What I also want to make is some interdiction torches, instead of actually barring this whole place off. What I'd need to do is put one of these interdiction torches away, and it acts as basically a force field. It repels um, any creature that's five blocks or less away. So you can put it at the entrance of, say, a cave, or around an entire area, or keep everything away. I also do actually have a force field mod, which is awesome, but it's also much more expensive. It's part of industrial craft. Not part of it. It's, um, it's an add-on, that's it. Can I have, like, block them off somehow? I can't put a door here, so... Ah, uh, sand's good enough. That'll keep me safe. Okay. This is going to take a really long time to get up and running, so what I'm going to do is use that Somnia mod. Go to sleep. That'll accelerate time a bit, and we'll see what's happening after that. Hope nothing's exploded and such. Using six steam engines, I wouldn't be surprised if something did break. Okay. Sleep until dusk. Okay, I've slept until night time. Probably not the best thing to do. I'd rather sleep until day, but still. Just to see if there's any ores coming down yet. There isn't. Wow, using four chunks as an area must make it take an incredibly long time. So I just want to have a quick check on it, see what's going on. And I do mean quick, because it is night time. don't want this entire place to be taken down by creepers. Well, I don't see the building block. Um, no, I'll just wait until day again. Okay, an entire day have passed. I can hear skeletons dying above me. Still no ores coming through the pipe. Honestly, I knew this project was huge. I didn't think it was going to take this long, though. Okay, hopefully there's nothing just waiting for me here. Well, the outside isn't even done. There's that builder block. What's it destroying? Oh wow, it has to destroy the entire sand dunes. Still, I waited an entire Minecraft day and a half. I just... Okay, so it should just have this one layer to go. Yeah, that was a pretty big job. Apparently, 
to get rid of an entire layer when this thing's mining takes an entire hour of real life time. Luckily if you're using the Somnia mod that means not an hour, it actually means three minutes, but still this is going to be huge. What's it even destroying? Oh, it's reaching over here. Oh, far out. Okay. I'm going to sleep again. So yeah, this really does go to show. I wasn't kidding when I said that multiple small quarries is much more efficient time-wise. If I didn't have Somnium on, I wouldn't even attempt to make a quarry this big. I'd just waste more resources and say, make, what, 7 by 7? 49 quarries. <laughs> and use that to dig out a hole this big. Wouldn't even take maybe two Minecraft days to actually mine out the entire area. Of course it would require, would require a whole heap of diamonds. Okay. I'm gonna sleep for another full Minecraft day, so I'll sleep till dusk, sleep till dawn. Ah, damn hunger! Wakes you up in the night if you haven't ate. Uh, stuff it, I'll just eat melon, even though it's used for potions and stuff. Oh damn it, I forgot I only gave you a tiny bit of hunger. Uh, yeah, sleep until dawn. Nearly done anyway. Okay, now it's about time that quarry should be done. Damn watermelon, definitely should have gotten some bread. Come on, nearly done. God, my character must be so fat. Anyway, here we go. Hopefully this is the last time I have to check. There should already be ores going in, I think. Or not. Or not. Ugh, what entire another day? It better at least be building the outside by now. Has to be. Okay, I guess I was kinda right. It has just started building the outside. That's not too bad, I suppose. Built pretty quickly too. I guess I'm just underestimating how huge this area is. God, I'm getting out so much sand. And sand isn't really useful for um, alchemy. Each block of sand is pretty much equivalent to a block of dirt, so you need 8,000 blocks? A little bit more than 8,000 blocks, just to make a single diamond. But hey, converting sand to diamonds is pretty damn cool, even if it does take that many. I'm sure I'm definitely going to mine that many, considering how big the area is. I worked out before that the total amount of blocks that it's actually mining is over 500,000 blocks. So. Once it is done, which will take forever, I'm pretty sure my series will end before this machine actually stops mining. But once that's done, tsh, this box is definitely, well not definitely, but damn probably going to be full of diamonds. In fact, one last thing I'm going to do, because that actually might be the case. I'll have one more output. Just have this come out here. And I'll put you into another alchemical chest. Just so I can double that inventory space. Also need a redstone engine. There we go. Lever. Done. Okay. Yes, it's time to sleep for another entire Minecraft day. Now that I think about it, those steam engines that are powering quarry probably already ran out of fuel. This is probably a waste of time. I'm gonna go there and the quarry's still not gonna be done. God. Damn it, I've been wasting EMC. Ah, that's a shame. Anyway, I might as well use this, make another collector for the coal generation. Now having five collectors is quite a nice speed. There's one coal already being made before it actually goes into the chest. I don't think it's actually enough yet. i can just watch this to find out. Pretty much if it keeps dropping. Ah, damn it. Right, go over here so I can actually see what's going on. 60, 59, wait is that going up? If it gets steady to 62 I know it's definitely 64. Ha! Huh. Wow, with five collectors and putting this here, it actually gives enough coal not only to fill four generators, but to actually generate extra coal. Because that's, yeah, 62. 63, yep. Amazing. I thought I would have had to upgrade the collectors to Mark II. But anyway, I'm going to go check on those steam engines that probably run out by now. Okay, so it turned out the engines still did have about 12 coal in them all. 
but it seems a little bit buggy because it's kind of mining above the ground. I'm sure once it does this a couple times it will be fine. Maybe. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe it's just because of the cactus, so yeah, I really don't know. What I did find out is that I probably need two more of these. Um, I just looked up on the internet a little bit and found out that eight steam engines is what runs it the best, instead of six. Although still, be careful if you're making this yourself, don't daisy chain them. Make sure you're doing the same thing, connecting them con to conductive pipes. Because otherwise the one at the front gets so much power it actually explodes. Just a warning. Okay, I did go and craft a couple more engines, so it does seem that the sun is about to set. So I want to just do this quickly. Get rid of these levers here. Gonna have to move them. Let's see, I'll just move this out here. Gonna have to do some more tricky lever stuff to get the rest working, but should be alright. Oh, oh no, not while it's night time. I definitely don't want to drop down now. Now, I'll just position these upwards, eventually. Oh, damn it! I need those uh, golden wooden. Okay. Wood, wood, gold. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> it's got me in a rush. Like, make lots of mistakes when I'm rushing about. Um, that's great that you're not working. Wonderful. Maybe one of them's transport pipes. Knew it. Okay. I still have time. Everything will be fine. Has to be fine. Okay, wait. Everything still working? This one isn't. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Turn on. Turn on. I just need to get that last one online. Oh, I'm risking it. Stuff it. Well, no. There we go. It's on. It's dodgy, but as long as it works and I get inside fast enough, I'm happy. And the key word was if it works. Ah, oh, right, okay. Just quickly grab some more coal out of here. Two stacks. Ah, uh, not that coal. Coal. Okay, rush inside. Should be getting enough power now, and once they speed up, it should be going even faster. Anyway, gonna sleep for a day, see how it's going. I'm sure you're probably sick of me saying that by now. Hey, would you look at that? Cactus! It is working! So it's just doing some of those weird layers and then just floating about, but that's alright. So what happens when it reaches a diamond pipe? Never actually used one before. So I don't know if it's gonna go randomly because there's no filter, or what's gonna happen? Okay, it goes randomly. That's a bit of a problem. See, I'm not sure if the filter makes it so cactus doesn't go this way, or if the cactus only goes this way. So I'm just going to test it with this. So I've got it saying that cactus goes green. Actually, I'll try putting it to blue, even though that's the wrong direction. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so cactus is in blue, and it goes blue. All right. One more thing I want to try. Now, if I have it saying that, say, pumpkins are green, does that mean only pumpkin can go green? Oh wait, no, not green. Let's say, ah, uh, damn, ah, uh, blue. I'll take that back. Okay, so it's finally up and running. I've got the all the sand. It's finally coming through, and once it actually stops mining sand and starts mining the good stuff, we're going to be up and running properly. So, as you can see, if I open this up, this slowly fills up every time a sand block goes into it. My filter's working because they're only going one way. This isn't filling up with sand anymore. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I was a little bit quiet and such because I've had this killer headache, but I still wanted to build this for you guys. So I did get through it. One thing, next episode, what I'm going to be focusing on is equivalent exchange because turns out it is a little bit too slow. So I'm going to need some Mark II collectors. I'm probably going to upgrade everything. Especially this Klein Star and all these collectors as well. And this is going to be operating the whole time now from episode to episode. So this should be good. Anyway, I hope you like this video and subscribe and all that good stuff. Stray Mav signing off.